Well, congratulations on 100 episodes. How does the milestone feel? Uh, it's definitely cool. I mean, it's, uh, I hope that at some point in my career, in my life again, that I can say that I've been a part of something this uh, impactful and long-lasting, but who knows? I mean, this, this is definitely a, a big deal. Looking back on when you were filming the pilot, do you ever have any idea how big the show would become? No, no, because uh, I'd, we shot the pilot in Vancouver, and I'd been to Vancouver you know, a few different times filming pilots, you know, like young kid, I'm thinking like, oh man, this is it, this is where my career is going to just... And people be like, you know, pilots kind of come and go, it's like whatever. And then it didn't end up working out. That's actually where I met Julie Pleck, was on a f pilot of her friends. And uh, filming the Vampire Diaries pilot, I remember we were out on some location in the woods where we had filmed that party scene where the bonfire was. And Ian's character hadn't really been showcased much yet. And uh, I'd met him a couple different times at the test and, and elsewhere, but I was in the makeup trailer with him and it, it's probably about like two in the morning, we're waiting to film, and you know, Ian, you know how Ian is, Ian's awesome, and he's like, kid, get ready for the ride of your life. And I was just like, yeah, okay, well, whatever, we'll see what happens. And uh, man, was he right. Given how easily this show took off characters and how close Matt has been to dying, are you surprised that Matt has made it to 100 episodes? You know, I hope that this doesn't uh, <laughs> seal my fate, but yes and no. Um, at this point, I'm not surprised because <clears throat> the show has gone to so many different levels that have taken it off the charts of reality. And uh, Matt's kind of the only source that kind of anchors the show down to, uh, I guess, reality. <laughs> you know, um, Matt's the... Uh, it sounds super cheesy, I know, but Matt's kind of the lighthouse in a crazy supernatural storm. Do you have a favorite moment or episode? I mean, I like doing things that are physically challenging as well as, you know, my acting skills. Like, uh, I, I liked all the underwater stuff. Um, that was all fun. Um, but as far as a scene that will always stand out in my mind, it wasn't much acting on anyone else's part other than one person. And that was when uh, Alaric walked out of the tomb and everyone was in the woods because it was like one of the first times in a long time we'd all been together again and... We all knew that he was going to be leaving, even though that wasn't his exit. It was, uh, it was a very moving night. We were all in the woods together, which, you know, we used to film in the woods all the time together as a group. And early on in the show, if you remember, like, a lot of times there were scenes where everyone was together. And then as the show's evolved, it's all split up. So, like, that scene, just any scene where we're all together, I guess, again, because it reminds us of the pilot. And final question. What is it like working with that guy, Stephen McQueen? Well, it depends, you know. It depends if it's pre-workout, post-workout. Um, this guy, you know, he comes into work with six chickens, um, kills them himself, cooks them in his room. Eat them raw. Eat them raw, yeah. Ain't Eats no such thing, salmon out. Yeah, you, you, you want to you know what it's what like working on like or working with this guy? He eats a dozen eggs a day. I do. Imagine being on set in a confined space like Protein this. Protein powder and eggs. The guy that eats a dozen eggs a day. I mean, I, I get a little bit gassy on the set of the vampire. He, he said it. I didn't need to, you know. Uh, yeah, but um, other than that, you know, he, he's a nice kid. He's good, you know. It's nice working with him. <laughs>